Hello, everybody. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you're all doing well. And um, I hope you're all having a great day. I'm filming this on Monday. <laughs> I'll put it up um, probably Tuesday. Because um, for some reason it's taking a long time for me to have my um, videos upload. <coughs> Excuse me. I I have no idea why my allergies are so bad, but they really are. I'm just going to take a quick, quick sip of water. Um, I was just puddling around today, um, catching up on my um, 100 Day Projects with Rachel Bella Crafts. And I also um, am in a collaboration with um enchanted 71 um Lori Edwards and um today she was doing um collaged um she was doing collaged um playing cards or game cards and so I was doing that and um, having a little play with Rachel's new um, Easter kit because I just had to because it's so cute. And um, catching up, like I said, on her 100 day project. And I came across my Franken paper that I had not used yet. And for anybody that does not know or follow Rachel um, at Rachel and Bella Crafts, um, she had made some Franken paper. And, um, I was so really happy she made it because I had made some, I was making some, like it was going out of style about three years ago. And I actually looked it up in my, um, notebook that I keep. And, um, it was Nick, the booksmith that I first saw it and she called it, um, quilt paper. And um, she did it a little differently um, back then, um, but this way I like much better. Um, the difference between um, Franken paper and a collage board, which is what this is, is, and I don't know why they call it Franken paper. The only thing I can think of is because after you get it all stitched together, it's kind of like Frankenstein, you know? Um, because it's just all stitched all over the place. Um, and as you see, there's no backing. Whereas when you do a collage board or a master board, there's a backing. You take, you know, whatever you're going to collage on. And then you just take your bits and pieces and you glue them here, there, and everywhere. And then you can sew it and add laces and things like that. With the Franken paper, it's different. You kind of um, piece it together. And what I did was I just, um, you know, pieced mine together how I wanted it. Just took a bunch of scraps and stuff and pieced it together and just glued a tiny little bit underneath so that I could catch it. And then once it was all catched um, or caught, sorry, I um, ran it through my sewing machine, and now it's all packed together. And um, one of the things that I do with my Franken paper and my collage paper um, is I scan into my computer because <laughs> for some reason I really hate to cut them up. Um, I love them, and once they're cut up, I don't have them anymore. But if I copy them or if I scan them into my computer then I can use them time and again and they're much lighter weight so for example if I wanted to use something like this in my journal you know like this or or like this whatever however I wanted to use it it's nice and lightweight and um you know I can use it in my journal and the same thing with the collage board um if you scan it into your computer um, let me see if I have one. I do. Um, again, a collage board to use for a page would be very difficult because it's very sturdy and stiff. 
And um, so by scanning it into your computer, you could use it as a page. You could cut it up and use it as tags and stuff. Um, and still use this because this is now in your computer and you can use it time and again. Or if you can't scan it, you could just copy it and it would be the same thing. You know, copy it several times and put it in a folder and then you have plenty. And I don't know if you can see it or not in the camera, but you can still see all the stitches. This is the copy. You can still see all the stitches and music paper. You know, you can still see everything. It's just on paper instead of on your um, Franken paper or your master board. Now see something like this, I could never put inside a journal as a page because I do them on the back of calendar pages. Um, this is like where the numbers were and it's got laces and stuff like this, but once you copy it, it's real pretty, you know, in a journal, you know, however you want to put it. So, and as you can see, I've already started to cut it up because it's already scanned and in my computer. So I thought that rather than cut this up today, I would do something different and make a journal, a very quick, simple collaged journal that would take you no time at all using an envelope. So what I did was, this is the original. I made some copies and I've already cut it all down so that we didn't have to waste a lot of time with that. And um, so all I did was I cut up my copy. I didn't cut up the the collage board because I'll be, I mean the um, Franken paper because I'll be using that in um, one of my journals. So I just cut up some pieces, you know, just some strips to fit. And I knew that I would want this image inside the window. So I just, you know, cut him from a scrap that was left over from one I had made earlier. So, um, yeah, so let's start and I'll show you how I did it. So simple. So you're just gonna take an envelope, you know, regular mailing envelope. This, you know, came in the mail. I'm just gonna glue down these little pieces that come apart when you, um, you know, when you slice those ends because you wanna just slice this end and this end a little bit so that you can open it up, okay? And then um, then what I did was, um, now you could collage this by all means, but I cheated. Well, I didn't really cheat. Well, yes, I did. Rather than collage it like Rachel does, because she does such an awesome job, um, I decided that I would use my already made collages and I would do it this way. So what I'm going to do, oh, I see a little piece back here too, just a moment. I hope you're all doing well. I think I may have asked you that or I may have just jumped right in. I don't remember. I just um, have been putzing around today, getting caught up, um, making a few, you know, things. Um, for my journal and then I remembered oh yes that's right I still have to use that so before I used it I scanned it and then I thought about doing this and it just came out so cute that I thought I'm going to go and make a video so let me just make sure everything's glued down so that you know it just will stay that was where the flap was And like I said, this is just junk mail envelope. Now, by all means, you could use your your um, your Franken paper for sure on this because it's lightweight enough. But like I said, on the collage board, it would be definitely too heavy. So what I'm going to do first is put little Peter here in the window. 
um, because that's the image I want to show when I make my little journal. So for now, I'm just going to make sure he fits in there good. And then I'm going to just flip it over. And I'm just going to scotch tape it down um, because I'm going to cover it up anyway. So I'll just scotch tape it down so he doesn't move around while I glue him down. And I could probably cut this piece off, this extra piece down here. And it doesn't have to be straight or anything, just as long as you have your image in your window the way that you'd like it. So, and these can be used for so many things. You could use them for clusters. You can use them for tags. You can use, you know, them for, um, I collect, I used a different one today and made these out of um, the um, playing cards. I just gessoed the back. And then this is one of my master boards uh, not my collage board. It's a master board. I think I already showed you. And I just made, um, yeah, here it is. Here's the master board. And these are just pieces from the master board. And then I added resilience, gratitude, put a little, you know, um, just a piece, some numbers there. And then for this one, I um, added this and this and this, but it's already collaged because I used that. And then I just put a rose on the back and some gesso so somebody could write on it. And I made a few other things today too, the same, pretty much the same way. So um, yeah, there's just so many things you could do if you, you know, save it. And they're so pretty. I mean, I just think collage boards and master boards are just so beautiful. So many things you can do with them. So now that you've got that done, is that lifting up as well? No. Okay. So then when you get that done, you want to, you know, just cut up some pieces and glue them in. And then, you know, you can cut off your excess or what have you. So I'll put that one there, and then I will put this one here, just so that they're not the same. So just let me get some glue stick, barley. 13, okay, we're good. I just don't want to make it too long for you. I'm just going to take another sip of water. I'm sorry. I guess I'm out. <laughs> I'm drinking so much water. My allergies are just definitely giving me a run for my money. So I did start working on Easter a little bit today. I shouldn't have. Uh, trying to finish a couple of journals, but um, I just couldn't resist. I had to start working um with Rach's new from Rachel Bella Crafts her new Easter kit. Oh my goodness, it's so sweet. If we have time I'll show you just uh, just a little something I made. I just had to print a couple of the pages and just play. <laughs> just to get it out of my system so I wouldn't print the whole kit and and get off track because I've just got so many going on as you might guess if you follow me on my channel. I've got a couple of journals going on so I'm just going to put this here and you can cut off the excess. Just make sure you um, you know get it on that fold there and then just press it down 
and anything, like I said, excess, we can cut off afterwards and use those scraps to collage the front. Oh my goodness, my boys. It was fine a minute ago. Of course, as soon as I turn on the camera, <laughs> it was crazy. So I'm just going to glue this up and put my next piece on. And, and like I said, I cut it up because I just wanted to save time. I actually didn't really do much. I just cut some strips. <laughs> it's already collaged for me, so. And like I said, the kind of a cheater's way of collaging, but not really, because, I mean, you did it, so. It's the same as if you were to collage it, only easier. Just making it easier for yourself. And you could go through your files and just pick anything. You wouldn't have to use this. Just um, put this here. Oops. I just want to make sure it's on that edge. So I can't move it now. It's all right. Maybe I can. This glue is very forgiving. It's um the Scotch Create. I really like it. So that's that. And I still have Peter in my window. And it's gonna fold, I hope. Yes. Great. It's a great little journal. I'll show you the one I made in a minute as soon as we finish collaging um, the front and the back. Then I'll just put this on the back. And like I said, all I did was, you know, cut three strips. And then I did have to pull a second one to... Um, I didn't have enough scraps to do the front. Well, I actually might, I might not have to cut into that other piece. I don't remember if I did or not on the first one. And like I said, the excess can be cut off afterwards. I think you're supposed to only go one way with the glue. I remember Rach, uh, Rachel from Roxy Creation saying one time that you should, when you collage, you should go one way, but I don't remember. So I'm just gonna put this here. Oh dear, I just remembered something. I forgot to get something to put in the middle. I might have something on my desk. So now what I'm going to do is cut off my scraps. And I may have enough to do that. This part, I don't know. We'll see. So let me just get some scissors. And cut those off. How are you all been? Are you working on Easter yet? I just love the spring. I could work on spring year-round. Sorry for getting quiet there for a second. I have to really pay attention when I cut because... I can't cut to save my life. And I only want to cut the paper. I don't want to cut the envelope. So I'll just put my scraps in my little basket here on to my left. So I'm going to keep those. And 
I'm going to see what I have left to collage the front. Did I cut that? I think I need to cut that envelope a little bit more. I mean that paper. Yeah, it's just the paper. It's not the ink. There we go. So everything looks good. It's folding evenly. Just let me make sure. it together and it's kind of neat because I don't know if it shows up in the camera but you can still see all the stitching um, even though it's a copy which is fun you know you don't lose that might be able to see it better in here um, you can still see the stitching in there so um, let me just see real quick if I have something to put down the middle there because I'm going to need it. Um, well, we'll collage the front first. So let me see what I have for scraps in here. <clears throat> I can't believe I don't have anything more to drink in the end. I don't want to get up. have this little box I made it's um cheat car made it um it really wasn't a box it was um a little paper um little paper closure type thing like you know you close it up like this um she made it out of paper but I made mine out of cardstock so I could have a little scrap box when I was cutting I don't need those See what I have for scraps here. Some of these things are scraps, some of them are fussy cuts. <laughs> I have to go through it later on. More scraps, more scraps. Just never know what you have to collage with. So now I'm just going to take my scraps that I have left over and see what I can do without cutting up that piece. If I have to, it's not a big deal. So I'm just going to collage up the front here. Um, this would need to be cut down because it's white. And then again. This could go here. That's the same as that. That could go there. Like I said, when I do this part, I actually should open it up so I can see better what I'm doing. So if I could do this and then this. Oh, there's a little bit of white there. 
And I can tell because I can still see the zigzag stitch. So I'm just collaging the front. Not as good as Rachel at Rossi Creations, but... Uh, that's fine. I'm learning still. After three years, I'm still learning to collage. Give me a collage board. I'll do it all day long. But for some reason, I go to collage something else. And it's like, ugh. Again, <laughs> I'll move this up a little bit. That fits across there nicely. This is some blue polka dotted. But I don't want to really see his ears because that's kind of mean. Oh, that's not going to work. I am going to take this piece because I'll be here all day. And I am going to just glue this down here like this. Why not? Because otherwise, I'm going to be here all day. And that was the whole point was to make something very easy. Right? Right. <laughs> so there's no sense in me trying to piece it all together like a puzzle. And I'm going to get close enough to the window, but not too close. So I will take this now and just put it up against the window like so. I'm gonna cut off my excess. Now I could piece it a lot easier. Like um Maybe put this one here. That looks good there. Let's see if I can move it up with just a hair. No pun intended. There's <laughs> a lot of rabbits on here. Although I did learn today, rabbits and hairs are not the same. Which, I mean, I knew that. But I did not know that the hair, as in rabbit, is the an the national animal for Ireland. I learned that from Rose at Journals in Time. Oh my gosh, you should see her journal. If you have time, go visit her at Journals in Time. She's amazing and she has made the most gorgeous journal. So now I'm just going to... Make sure that's glued down good, and then I'm just going to tear it. In a minute, let it dry. And let's see, this is cute. I really like him, and that fits good there. Yes. I'll put him here. Very cute. So far, so good. And again, I'm still using scraps <laughs> from my scraps. Let's see, um, is that too much red there? 
Um, perhaps I'll do that's too much music. And like I said, if you used a master board on something like this, it would be so, you know, it would really be heavy. I'll just wait till this dries before I cut it. Make sure it's nice and dry. My nails are just... I'm so sorry. I've been really playing in the garden a lot. And um, um, tea staining. And even though I use a paintbrush, I still get the tea on my hands. And boy, I'll tell you, if you don't get that off right away, it's just there forever. So pardon my fingers if they're still dirty. They're really not dirty. They're clean. <laughs> I just can't seem to get everything out. Should be cute there, but she's not long enough. Did this fit there? Oh, shoot. This might. This is just a scrap from something else, but I don't think that won't fit either. Dang it. Neither one that. Oh dear. That will. I think I'll go this way though. It's just that his coat's going the wrong way. And that will bug me. I wish she was long enough. Oh dear, I don't want. Maybe this blue piece. No, because his ears are cut off. Or I do that. That's got some stitching, and then I could. Okay, yeah. I'll do that. Perfect. It's like a blue and white polka dot. It might not be showing up in the camera very well, but it is. And that way I won't get, I'll be able to um, not cut his, have his ears cut off. That would be kind of mean. So now I have my front all collaged. And stuck down. And now I can just go around and get all that, everything trimmed up. And that will be finished. And then I'll show you how to put the little journal on the inside. And this makes an adorable journal. It really does. And it's fast. It's easy. It's simple. And it's so cute. And you're just using whatever you have in your stash. Just going down this edge. With some art glitter glue. And you might have to go along and just make sure everything is, you know, down good. Now, if you're going to stitch this, stitch it now. You know, if you're going to stitch around and stuff, 
go ahead and stitch it now. I'm not going to do that, obviously. So I'm going to now just take my little ruler and take off these little pieces here. Take that off. I'm just using my fingernail to kind of burnish that so when I do take my ruler it won't you know it'll look good so cute very eastery very springy I don't even know what I'm going to make with my, uh, well, I have an idea what I'm going to make with my, um, with the original um, Franken paper. I have an idea. I just haven't done it yet. I get off onto a tangent of other things. <laughs> 100 Day Project is fabulous. If you don't already belong to Rachel Bella Crafts, um, or you don't visit her YouTube channel, I highly recommend it. I've gotten so many ideas. It's been fabulous. I just close this up so it doesn't dry up. I'll keep that scrap. <laughs> you never know. I'll show you some of the other things I made with these scraps. It's so cute. And that's it. So then what you're going to do once you get everything all cut off and everything is, you know, oh, I have a pretty good size piece here that I can use for, you know, a tag or a cluster. So many things, so many things you can use these for. And you still have your board, you know, your master board or, or what have you. Unless, of course, you're going to use it in something else, then, then you won't. But you'll still have it scanned into your computer so you can pull it up and use it for other things. I'm just going to put some glue under there and under here. This one kind of stuck down pretty well, but I'm going to stick it down some more and this is a no so and you'll see what I mean by that in one moment. Um, for this one, I just used some copy paper because I didn't want to, um, you know, make a whole new, a whole nother journal. I don't need to. And like I said, I was just playing and one thing led to another and I just kept going. <laughs> Now, um, the no sew binding method for these junk journal envelopes comes from um, uh, a 
I'll think of her name. Kathy something. And she's really good. She has a lot of great ideas. She's very sweet. Kathy's Kathy's garden, I think it is. And see, I still have another scrap there. So that's it. That is your cover. Oh, I see another little piece sticking up there. So I'll glue that down. And I'm not going to cut that. I'm just going to kind of fold it over. adorable so cute the butterflies it's just adorable the flowers I love it. I love the way it came out. Now what you need to do is either washi tape or a piece of fabric. I have, I'm pretty sure I have a piece of fabric here right on my desk somewhere. I just used some yesterday. I didn't even think until, um, you could use washi tape. You could use a piece of lace. I have a piece of lace right here. We'll use that. You, know, you just want to make something, get, grab something that's going to make it sturdy. Um, when you put your, excuse me, when you put your signature in. So I'm just going to take a piece of linen so that I can put it on the inside just to make it sturdy. And like I said, you could use washi um, or anything that's going to make that sturdy. But I'm just going to use a piece of this. Save my threads, of course. I have a whole bag of them. A little package of them. So you just, you don't need something very big. It's not, it's only going to be one signature. Oh. Sorry, I just knocked into my... Okay. Did I knock the camera? No. Okay. Okay. So then we're just going to take this and put this on the inside. Just going to glue that down so it doesn't lift up.
I was going to use that for the window, but it wasn't long enough. I just thought he was really cute. And some of this has come from the um, kit, um, Beatrix Potter, the works of Beatrix Potter, but some of it didn't. Music sheet didn't, this didn't, this is a book page. Music sheet, um, just different things. Scraps that I had from making my journal. Oh, <laughs> would be good if I put this down. And I'm just using art glitter glue. Yeah, this is the inside. Is it? Yeah. So I'm just going to put some of this down. And you could use, you know, any kind of fabric. Piece of cotton, piece of linen, or washi tape. Anything that's just going to hold your signature is good. And like I said, I, um, I didn't, um, make real signatures. I just used some, you know, some, um, regular copy paper, not even good copy paper, just regular copy paper, just so that I can give you an example. I didn't cut that very straight, but it's okay. You're not going to see it. I think I'm going to go this way. So like I said, if you're going to stitch, now's your time. Because once your signatures go in, it'll be too late. And it would look adorable stitched. So there is my little piece that's going to really reinforce that spine now when I go to put my signatures in. I just want to make sure that's glued all the way to the bottom before I snip that off and let it dry just for one moment. And while that's drying, I will show you how I'm going to put the signatures in. Where are we? 47. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our signatures, which, like I said, I just used copy paper for this one, and we're going to take some paper clips and we're going to clip it here. Let me just get one more. And we're going to take one here. And just hold those in and I just used a few pieces of paper and then take either a regular um, paper punch or your crocodile and um, on the largest hole push this back all the way okay so now it's back all the way. And then you're going to go up as high as that will go. And you want to go right on that seam right there. Okay. So see where the fold is? That's where I punched it. Oh, but my brain. <laughs> this one will make sure I am. Because I can't really see. Um, and then... You want to do the same thing on this side, except there. <laughs> and that's it. Now, I'll show you mine. I, I used, you know, just scraps of, not scraps, but like papers I had laying around that I wasn't using or, you know, that I had in my file for spring. I can cut that off now so it's not the way. <clears throat> I'm so sorry about my voice. 
And I'm just cutting it flush with this. And save that scrap. Say that. So then you want to take your pokey tool, like if you were going to, um, if you were going to, like tie in signatures or whatever, whatever you'd use to poke holes. And I know mine's in here somewhere. And you are going to take your signature. And you're going to line it up on your spine here. Let me just fold this. Still a little bit wet, but that's okay. So then you're going to take this and you're going to place it in here. Take your paper clips off. Place it right here. Put your paper clips back in to hold it. Then take your pokey tool and right there in the center, you want to go all the way through and here the same. And this is what I mean by it, like a really a no sew. When you're still using some thread or sari or, or, um, whatever you want to use i i just use my um linen thread because it was right here not that color or i could use that cording would be pretty yeah i'll use that because it's silver and i think it will go good with the cover yeah, that'll be pretty. So, um, one, two, I'll give myself like two and a half, just to be sure. Cut it. Did I put my pokey tool back? No. <laughs> I'm better doing that. And then what you want to do is... You want to go through that hole in the back. Oh, I forgot. This is kind of finicky. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. Let me get this back. I am so sorry. I just did that. There we go. I hope that's okay. Sorry, I think I just probably made you all throw up. <sighs> oh, I don't want to do this video over. I really don't. And this was fun. So where's my other hole over here? So then you're going to take your thread. And you're just going to put it through this side. Or whatever you use, sari or um, any anything to tie it in. I forgot that this was so finicky. It kind of comes apart a little bit. And what I usually do is I'll like put a little bit of glue on there. But I'm not going to do it now. Am I still in frame? I am so sorry to have knocked the camera. I really hope that it doesn't ruin the video. I mean, it's going to make... You're going to be like... Ah! But I still hope that you stick with me until the end. Because I don't know how to edit that out. So this will go through here. And then bring it up and just 
just go through this hole here. I'm just cutting this at an angle because it makes a better point and it won't. Oops, don't want to do that. Nope. I must have moved my paper clip as well. I did. There it is. Just make my hole a little bit bigger so I can get that thread through. And then you want to just bring it around like this. <gasps> oh my gosh, I am so sorry I did it again. Uh, well, I'll check the video. If I have to do it over again, I will. I've got to fi finish watching how to edit. <laughs> so then you're just going to tie this here like this. And I go under twice. That helps me with holding it. So I don't need like 50 fingers to do it. And I'm just going to make a knot by holding it and pulling this one. And there you have a journal. But... I will show you the one I made today so that, and I'm just going to cut these here just in case you want to put some beads or what have you on it. I'll show you the one I made today so that you can see it finished. And just take your clips off and you've got yourself a really cute journal with whatever papers you want to put in. And you know, you could use copy paper. It looks fine. You know? I just use one, two, three, four sheets of regular copy paper. You could put um, mixed media paper in it. You could really use anything. But I'll show you the one I made today real quick. If we are still in frame. Yes, we are. And we're still rolling. So, hopefully... Um, so here's one I made today. And here's, I don't know if I showed these at the beginning, but I had to make these today. And I used a different collage board, copied, and then I just added some things to it and a little rose on the back on these cards. So this was from a master board that I copied, so I didn't have to collage them. So that's that. So here is my front cover. And down here I just put a little heart. And um, I have some threads on my finger from my glue. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh dear. So I just put a little heart and key down at the bottom. And then um, this is just some check. Um, pink and white ribbon. I put a little grommet here, but that's the only place I put the grommet. And I tied it in with the wax thread as opposed to that silver, which I really love. So this just comes out like this. And then, like I said, I used what I had. So in here, I put a pocket here. And then I just took some tags that I had. They're not backed yet, but I just wanted to put one in there just to show you. And there is, here's my pages. And like I said, I just took what was I in my folder, in my spring folder. Here's another pocket here. I made this today. Um, this was a freebie, and it's... Um, the 100 day project so I just um it actually comes with the butterfly this Peter Rabbit I just put some threads here for his little whiskers and a piece of black thread here for the butterfly 
And then inside here it comes with this little bunny, this tag. I put some threads under the bunny. That's the back. And then um, I put my own whole reinforcer. It's just a little flower that I punched. So this goes inside here. And then this was left over from what I printed today from that um, Easter kit. So cute. And backed it with that. Stuck that in there. And then it comes with these two little tickets. This is a freebie um, that Rach made a couple of days ago. Little tickets go in there. And then this was from that Easter kit as well. I just shrunk it down and um, just put some gold wax around the edge. Put that in there. And then I put this one on the little back. So I'll put that in this pocket. And here's another page. And this is, I made a belly band out of one of the scraps. And I put a little rabbit postcard in there. And then today I was making from my, um, um, one of my books, I made a bunch of envelopes. And I put these little journal cards on the inside. So I put one of those in there. And that kind of tucks right like oops sorry like that he has another page a little postcard i just love this i think it can it has another pocket i could put something in these little cards in you could journal on the back some more paper some tea stain paper in the middle, I have some pink paper. And then these pockets are from the um, Beatrix Potter kit. And I just put those in the center and some postcards I had already in my stash. I don't think I put anything on the backs of those. I know I put, the, put something on the back of one. I just don't remember which one. Some more paper. Plenty of writing space. Here's just a little tuck spot. Um, I have something in here. This is a scrap from the cover, which we could stick there. Here's some tags. I could actually put a tag here. This is just a doily I had. This is just from a piece of paper I had that I made into an oval shape to make it look like an egg. And this is from the Beatrix Potter kit. And then the other side of that paper, this I made a cluster out of with the um, scraps that I had left over from there. And you could put, let's see if I have something else in here. That's well, kind of small. This is bigger. Here, let's get a tag. So you could do something like this. You know, put a tag or even a journaling card with it in there. More paper, more writing space, more writing space. And then another tag here and a pocket here. And then I just put some grommets in and tied it up with the pink bow. And that was my very quick um, collaged envelope journal with a little see-through pocket. I just think it's adorable. And I used, all I used was my, uh, a copy of my, um, of my, um, whatever board you call that. Um, I'm so worried about the camera. Um, so... I hope that you enjoyed that, and if this video didn't come out well, I'll do it over again. Um, but anyway, until I see you again, this is the one we made today, which is very similar, but different, as you can see, because of the way it was collaged. So yeah, so that's it. And you could close.
close it anyway. You wouldn't even have to do this. You could do like a little paper clip, perhaps. I always have these on hand because I use them on my pages and things like that. But you could use a little paper clip with a bow and keep it closed like that. That would be very sweet. Put a few little beads or something on the um on those little pieces that hang down like I did. But that's today's little project, and I hope that you enjoyed that. And until next time, be well, be safe, and God bless. Bye-bye, everybody. Sorry about the camera.